Hey guys, it's Janae. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, if you saw my last video, then you know that, um, I'm not currently home. My filming setup is obviously very, very different. I'm sorry for the huge shadow right here, you guys. That's my phone. Um, I did want to share what I worked on. Um, this is kind of a late upload. Um, I created this uh, a while back. Uh, this is for Coco Rosa Studio dies. You guys, their dies are amazing. Um, when so, <laughs> let's just. I'm gonna go ahead and have the links down below, and then also a discount code. But you guys, when I saw this, um, I knew I had to have it. It is a mini backpack, and look how cute. Um, it's intended to cut faux leather, so I did use. You guys, the lighting is so bad, but it's like a. A very pale pink let me try turning this a little bit but um, it's a very pale pink leather it's just difficult to see I made it into a charm um, I decorated the front using some of like the clear stickers from the garden party sticker book and then I used one of these like clear or um, pink resin uh, bows and I added a little like ball and chain. Okay, there we go. The lighting is a little bit better right there. I'm so sorry for the quality of this, you guys. Um, so yeah, I turned it into a little backpack. It has a Velcro closure and it's a little charm. I just think it's so cute. Okay, and then this is the second one that I created. I'm going to be holding it kind of off to the side where the lighting is just slightly better. Like I said, I'm sorry for the lighting. You Okay, so I tried, whoops, I did move it. I hope this makes it a little bit better. So this is a different kind of faux leather that I use. This one is actu actually textured and it has kind of like the little cross embossing in it. You guys, this faux leather is so pretty. What I did find is that this die has like holes where you can add brads. I didn't want to add the brads and so I tried hot glue. Um, I've had to glue it multiple times. Hot glue does not like to stick to faux leather. I think I might run just a stitch at the top to like really hold it down. So right here again, I use some of those clear stickers. This is from the confetti like bits and bobs. Um, I added a black ball and chain and then some tool and it does have the little backpack straps. They've gotten kind of bent because this gold glitter paper is very flimsy. But yeah, look how cute the little backpacks are. Okay, and then next I created, um, this is like a little like cake or a pie box. I think it's so cute. It's a good size for this one. I use like that shimmery paper from Michaels and then some of the garden party paper. I did, okay, I'm going to drop it over and over again, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I did actually like tie it closed with some of this tool um, and then this is kind of just what I just did some simple layering it says you are my favorite and I have a little fox very simple layering you guys super simple I think it's so cute though it's a, a good dye and then I didn't tie this one closed this one right here is just kind of like a little sweet theme because I did use that paper so this is what the box looks like box looks like when you open it um I'd say it's like a, probably a good two inches deep good size box oh and I forgot to show you the dies so this is the um cake die or pie die so this is like your box this is your lid and I love that it has the scalloped edge right here I just think it's so pretty and then next, I created this little backpack, which I thought was so cute. I just made it into a little embellishment. Um, this looks like it moved a little bit after I glued it down. But I decided to use yellow um, as the base. And then it does have like the little handle right here. And then um, you can see the little buckles. Are the little buckles so cute? And I did add some bows, um, you know, for like the closure and it just says hello it does actually this die does have straps that go from here to here um but I chose not to use them so that is that die and then this is it right here as you can see these are like the straps that you would put from like the top of the flap of the backpack that would go down like I said I just didn't use them and then next we have this um 
and this gold bit right here and then this like blue spotted paper is the dye that I used from them. It kind of reminds me of like the Starburst dye but it's just very different and I love like the shape of it and I have a hard time using this giraffe piece because it's so large and so I thought I'm just gonna put the embellishment in the center of the giraffe and yeah I think it looked cute. It says so happy. This is a bow from my creative mojo wholesale studio and some rolled flowers. And then this is the die right here. So you do get one, two, three, four of them. It's a really interesting die. I like this one. So that is um, everything that I created for Coco Rosa, Coco Rosa Studio, you guys. Like I mentioned, I will have all of the products linked down below if you're interested in picking up any of these dies highly recommend the backpack die you guys it's so cute i actually forgot to grab it um so i can't show it to you but it does cut in one piece um as far as like the base of the backpack but yeah you guys thank you so much for watching you guys and i will catch you on the next video and i've missed you guys so very much um yeah anyways i hope you guys have a great day bye